Support for Just Seen It comes from Fandor, dedicated to supporting independent films and filmmakers. Movies from around the world are available at fandor.com slash ptv. Fandor, all for film. Blue and Jewel now have a family. They take a trip to the Amazon to get back to their roots. We're not the only ones. How amazing. <laughs> but an old nemesis and a new father-in-law make that challenging. In Rio 2. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm here with Zoriana and Brenna to discuss Rio 2 by filmmaker Carlos Saldana of Ice Age fame. We've all just seen it, so Brenna, what do you think? I think it's very pretty. It's a very simple story. It's every guess who's come to dinner trope out there. You have the guy who goes back and he meets his wife's dad and all of her old friends and her old flame and always, oh, is he going to be good enough? And he's competing and he's of course not. he's good enough. <laughs> it's, but it's, it hits every note, but it hits every note right. You know it's going to happen, but you enjoy watching it unfold because it's really bright and really colorful and there's great dance sequences. The film is like the first one except more, more of everything, more singing, more dancing, more colors, more colorful characters, more memorable characters. So everyone is back, you know, the macaws, all their friends, including the dog, the adults are there. Even Nigel, the bear-eyed cockatoo who was the evil nemesis in the first film, he's back. But there's some great memorable characters that are introduced in this film that you know will probably continue should there be a third, and there likely will be a third. There's um, Kristen Chenoweth who yes. plays Gabby. The poisonous frog. Mm -hmm. She's the best. The best. And they really made great use of her Broadway voice. Yes, they and did. And gave her really good I'll songs. I'll tell you what, because you know what? This film is not my favorite, dare I say it. But her acting in this film, I love the fact that they are using a few Broadway people, where it's like, you know, this is theatrical. When you use film, film actors, they don't necessarily get that expressive with their voice, but she is just, she's off the chart, and the animation in those moments is so creative and so wacky, because I think you can feel like they're inspiring each other. Yeah, which is the exact opposite of Anne Hathaway's Jewel, who is completely <laughs> interchangeable. You could use any other female actress in that point. However, she just sounds like a chick. However, However, I really do feel that they capitalize on her Oscar-winning performance in Les Mis because they do give her a really nice solo. I mean, she sang in mm -hmm. the first one, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this one was this one was a really pretty song. It was a slow song. She's singing her kids to sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I thought pretty. that was a, a really nice touch. She's sweet. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, Bruno Mars. I mean... He was fantastic. That yeah. was genius casting. And he was fantastic. First of all, the singing. And, and, yes. And that's what this movie is just so good for. I mean, it's just, it's the singing. <laughs> Look at it shining Her feathers, they glow Now the jungle is smiling Cause our baby's home Can you feel what I feel? The day is coming last Our precious jewel has returned I'll be the first to say welcome back I mean, it is funny, because I agree with everything you said, except for just not nearly as emphatically. It's like, <laughs> I think that the best part of this movie is the singing. I think the singing performances are great. But I do feel like, you know, like you were saying, yes, it's not the most original script, and you've got sort of, you know, the meet the parents thing, and then you've also got sort of a fern golly sort of avatar, you know, nature yeah, thing Yeah, a really going on. misguided anti-logging And we have sentiment. weird messages in this movie, too, where it's like, happy wife, happy life. Like, some of these things are repeated, but... I don't know. I feel like this is a very commercial movie, which obviously it is. I feel like there could be a little bit more heart in it. There are moments where I'm sort of watching it, and it's almost like I feel like the producer put in a moment where he's saying, you know, oh, this song will be catchy. Uh, these words will be catchy. We're going to put in, like, a little mini rap here because seven-year-olds will want to repeat that. For me, I, I'm a bird owner. I actually do have an umbrella cockatoo. So when I looked at the animation mm -hmm. and the beaks and the cracks in the beaks and that sort of dustiness that the birds have and the feathers, I was blown away by how they got all of that right. You're the only one who knows what it feels like to be all alone, misunderstood. <gasps> You're the evil to my lethal. <laughs> I can see why they call you Gabby. Where are you, you filthy fowl? Halt! Oh! Like you said, that this feels like there is a lot crammed in here, and it does all pay off, but 
it's all unnecessary. We have a slew of unnecessary characters that exist for spectacle. Mm -hmm. The Red Macaws, there's no reason for them to be there except to have a cool football game. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the Nigel character who's only there because if you have a reason to use Jermaine Clement, you use it. (laughs) So we have all these unnecessary characters, but they don't overshadow the main characters who are all very well-developed, who are all very enjoyable, even the new additions like Gabby. Gabby is... Fantastic. Oh, she's the best. She's yes. she's my favorite part. And Nigel is fantastic. Even Blue, mm-hmm. who at first is, is just sort of like, oh, he's the... who, who is Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, who's, yeah. who's actually Jesse Eisenberg as a bird. Um, <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, dear. Just, you don't, you still enjoy all of these other characters. I feel like they spend enough time on character development that even with all these unnecessary elements, it doesn't detract. Rio 2 is better than the first one, and it's sure to delight young audiences without completely boring their parents. See it. So Rio 2 is a lot better than its slogan, Beak Out, makes you think it's going to be, but I do think it needs a little bit more heart, so I'm giving it a stream it. More characters, more color, more music, more fun. Rio 2 is even better than the first. See it. All right, well, our votes add up to two and a half tickets, which is a see it for Rio 2. Cheers! Cheers. And I'm here with Soriana. (laughs) What? That wasn't even bad. Scratching my forehead. Don't do that. (laughs) 